Hey, what's up? This is Winston from Parkway Drive and you're watching Bloodstock TV. Okay, next up on Bloodstock TV, we are talking to the guys from Elevati. We have got Fabienne and we've got Kriegel. How you doing, guys? Very much okay. All good, good, good. So you are going to be headlining our Sophie stage tonight on Sunday, finishing off our weekend for us here at Bloodstock. We've had a long weekend, a lot of weather, a lot of talking, a lot of bands. So we're looking forward to a good show from you guys. Thank you. Thank you, we are looking forward to. Yeah. Lots of wind I heard yesterday. We oh. had all sorts. Yeah. We've had. That Britain is Britain. We have four seasons in one day. You know, we had <laughs> torrential rain. We have the only thing we haven't had is snow, and I don't really want to say that out loud because I don't want to tempt fate. But you're okay. You're in a tent anyway, so you're all safe. So uh, yeah, so it's quite a few years since you guys last played here, and uh, coming back as headliners on the in the in the tent after playing on the main stage. Uh, how are you guys looking forward to that? You're right. It's been a, it's I think it's like 11 years or something like that. Yeah, that's correct. Probably. Oh, okay, cool. Very good. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just looking forward. For, for me personally, and I, I think I can speak for most of us, we, we, you know, music is alive. Playing our songs, that means life to us. And, and I'm just happy when I can play. And I don't really care if it's like on a stage or in a tent or at 5 in the afternoon or, or 10 in the evening. So I'm just happy I can play. So I'm looking forward a lot. I don't know. What about you? Yeah, me too. I think it's my first English festival, right? We played in London Probably. a club show, but never a festival, so... Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, I hope you like the place. I mean, you know, it's probably changed a little bit in 11 years since you were last here. Uh, we've probably got a little bit bigger, but um, have you got any, any memories from that? Or is it just that, you know, some festivals just blend into others? Or... And you really had to ask that question, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's not something that I'm very proud of, but, um, you know, like, last time, like, 11 years ago, when we played Bloodstock, we just played Summer Breeze in uh, Summer Breeze Open in Germany the day before, and for some reason I got completely fucking shit faced that night of the show, and um, yeah, at some point it just became dark, and we apparently that's what the others told me. Like we were brought to a hotel after Summer Breeze, stood there for like three hours or something. Then we're driven to an airport, had a flight to the UK, and, and I have no remembrance of any of that. Yeah. And actually, I just woke, I remember waking up, lying in the grass next to the main stage, but behind stage or something. The unfortunate thing was that was happened like 15 minutes before I had to go on stage with okay. like a, a head like that. So that's basically what I remember from the last time here. Don't apologize for that. I, that, I, that's, I, that's I do as, a lot better now. <laughs> that's as bloodstock as you can get, my friend. Trust me. Oh. I, I, later on, there will be lots of people lying in that field on their backs, oh, okay. drunk. And so okay. Don't you worry so about I did that. Well then. Very You'll good. Be part of one of us. <laughs> that's a fantastic man. Well, a fantastic lack of memory. I was going to say. <laughs> How was the show, Piggy? <laughs> Painful as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, that must be. I mean, it must be difficult. Any, I mean, just the travel involved in touring and going from place to place and that lot. What sort of makes a festival stand out for you? What makes it a memorable festival, if you? Yeah. Well, the crowd, the crowd, and the catering a little bit too. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a lot of vegan stuff, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but actually, actually, it's 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 good work. So, you know, I, I I've often been asked like, what what success success means to us and. I usually look at that myself in a, in a way that if you stand on stage and then you look into the, the eyes of the people and you realize that the music you play like gives something to them or, or you know, that they're, they're enjoying themselves and having a great time, that this is what success means. And this is also like, yeah, what, what gives us the energy like doing all that. And I think a show is never, it's never something that the band just does. It's like a band and the audience, it's like a symbiosis. If the, if the audience is good, the band will be good. Yeah, well, I think that you will get a good reception here tonight. I mean, we've had, as you say, we've had bands moving around, changing around stages. Uh, the people that came to see Cradle of Filth yesterday had to come back today. So it's been a little bit of a thing, but that is going to be, uh, you've got the Scorpions are going to get everyone warmed up nicely. You do realize the Scorpions are opening for you. You can say that. <laughs> opening. That's fine. That's, that's <laughs> well, yeah, I, I wouldn't put it that way, but yeah. <laughs> 
but they're going to get everyone nice and warmed up and then that is going to be the final band of our weekend bloodstock 2019 is going to be you guys so oh, okay that's going to work out really, really well. Good. And then everyone just gets partying after that. That turns That's into good. the party tent. The tent you're in, that becomes the party tent afterwards, and everyone's here until basically all the beer's drunk. Uh-oh. So you can join in if you wish, you know? Right. <laughs> okay, so let's talk a little bit about the music, because uh, I have to admit, I, I, I do Bloodstock Radio as well. Um, so I, I, I played you guys on Bloodstock Radio to when you were announced for the festival and stuff like that. I'm a thrash fan. I'm not, a, you know, and I, I, if I see the words folk metal, I immediately just sort of think, nah, that's not for me. But since I've been doing this job, I've really broadened my horizons quite a lot. And uh, when uh, Attic Nartos came out and I, and I watched the, the video for the title track, and it started off, and, and you're singing away to start off with Fabian, and it's just sort of like, oh, and then you come in, and I'm like, oh, I like that. I like that. And it, the way it, the, the, the contrast between the two things is just, and is this, I mean, educate me here, because I've always thought folk metal is all like, you know. So there's a lot of contrast between us. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> I think so, anyway. Certainly was on that track, anyway, particularly. So so a, a, a new wave of, of folk metal uh, is that, you know, am I, am I reading this wrong? Am I thinking all these instruments that you guys play and everything? I'm like, ah. Oh. So tell me about the new wave of, of folk metal. Yeah, it's a joke. <laughs> it is. No, but I mean, we started off 17 years ago, and you know, th that's like after maybe like 15 years ago or something like that. This kind of genre uh, kind of started to grow, and, and you know, suddenly the music press started to write about it, and and it just became so ridiculous back in the day. I mean, we, we never really cared what we are, and we never thought we're folk metal or we're pagan metal or what the fuck ever but a few years later as i said like the the press started to write about the kind of music and like with the years there were like a billion different descriptions there was like celtic metal and viking metal and folk metal and pagan metal and yeah. what the fuck ever and uh, we just thought okay dudes come on this is so ridiculous so as a kind of a parody uh, and we came up with even yet another description you know and uh but Funnily enough, at some point, that the press and everybody kind of adapted that, and we were like, okay, uh, it was a joke, but okay, yeah, now we're in a new wave of folk metal. Yeah. You, just made a you just made a genre, well done. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it was a joke. Yeah, and, uh, and how's your following been in the UK over the years? Because as I say, it's, uh, it's possibly more of a niche genre, I would say, maybe, and I, I always sort of associate it with Scandinavia and stuff like that, and where you'd have more of a following. What's the UK following like for it? Um, I mean, so far it's good. I mean, we always love to play in in the, the UK, and um, yeah, I think we have, we have we have our amazing fans here. It's just it's just way too long that we've been here last time. When when did we play here the last time? Uh, last European tour in London, uh, 2017 in December. Uh, I was maybe? that with Amaranti. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. In this. Uh, oh, do you remember? It was like a love it in the 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 venue. Uh, <laughs> didn't find the stage anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. That was cool. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just been too long. So yeah, we're, one and a half years or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But long. you're coming back at the end of the year as well, I believe. That's in November, correct. Yeah? yeah. You're going to be doing some dates, Manchester, Bristol, and London. So hopefully you get a few people, you got a few new fans here today. You never know. I might even be one of them. You never know. <laughs> good. Yeah, I mean, so, so far it looks very good. I think like uh, one of the shows is sold out already, and the others are close to being sold out. So I think that's a good sign. Yeah, absolutely. So, and you're also heading over to the USA as well later in the year. So, uh, again, what's the following like over there? Because again, folk metal in America doesn't really sound that sort of ring. Uh, me, actually, actually, it doesn't. But uh, North America is like uh, one of our strongest markets for us. Actually, yeah. it's it's going really well, and yeah, it, it's it's going super well in North America for us. Oh, excellent. Well, I hope that goes really well for you guys, and uh, I hope it goes well tonight over on the uh, Sophie Tent. And uh, yeah, don't don't go and get drunk now between now and your set, please. Okay? Yeah, let, let's I'll, talk about it later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep an eye on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got babysitting for just a few hours, and then you can join us in the bar afterwards, and we can and you can get drunk with the rest of us. Okay? Cool. Thanks very much for talking to us, and enjoy your time. Okay, that is Elevati on Bloodstock TV.